Hello, Frenzy Knots. Welcome to episode 67, the Thanksgiving episode. Uh, come on in. Hey, Toy Frenzy community. Happy Thanksgiving. So, uh, we were going on this um, pre-recorded video kick this year and doing like the, you know, what we're thankful for and showing off a few things. So I'll just start off um, thankful for the community, thankful for anybody who even remotely wants to sit through me ranting about Masters of the Universe when I have time. <laughs> and toys in general, depending what the toy is. Um, uh, thank you to Skelly for involving me in it and uh always being warm and welcoming same with oz bobby adam all you guys are great uh, thank i'm thankful to be a co-host with you guys and um yeah so i guess what i'll do here really quick is i'm going to show off a few things in my collection that i'm very thankful for and i'll wrap it up because i'm trying to keep it pretty short for the video um so I used to enter waffles, the, the web raffles on Facebook. And this guy, Battle Cat here, was one of my winnings once. I didn't win the main prize, but they called it a, a pity kitty award. Well, I'd love to meet the person that doesn't want a pity kitty award. That's all I'm going to say. That one... That one, I almost cried when I opened it the first time. That was mind-blowing to me. Um, in general, the Classics Collection, I'm still thankful for. I'm thankful that they reignited my love for the the line. And hell, the Classics are what actually got me more involved in the toy community. And I'm thankful for what I have left. Because I had to part with some of my collection over the last few years uh to offset things financially for the family i don't regret that happening that i have to do that from time to time but i do regret there's a few there's a few that i miss at this point it's it's uh, it, it, when i look at the shelves right now the ones that i miss the most i'd say are the scale cons um those were ones that i was so happy to get them but then I ended up having to uh, part with them, and to this day, that one hurts out of most of the figures I've had to sell in the last couple years. Um, still thankful for Skull and thankful for the... I, I'm still thankful for the deal I got on, on Rhaegor, because he's one of my absolute favorites in the Mythic Legions. Here's my other Mythic Legions, and... I have a few more. I haven't even opened them yet. Um, and these bad boys I'm thankful for because these mean the world to me. The NECA Movie Ninja Turtles. They, when I first got into collecting, these guys just came out. And Leo, I absolutely grabbed off the shelf and pretty much ran to the cash register with them. And then the others eventually came with Raphael being a Christmas present from my wife, which to this day was pretty darn cool. So I'm pretty thankful for that. I'm thankful for my family, I'm thankful for my job, thankful for the fact that I don't have to work in an office environment ever again, at least, you know, for the foreseeable future. And... You know, thankful for the community, my friends, uh, Matthew Rodriguez with his Armies of Ashmore, Defenders of Eden toy line, and giving me the the, the tribute honor of uh, Skavar now, which is still mind blowing. Uh, my my buddy Jesse, who uh, I've known him since I was eight years old, and the guy is one of the best people I've ever known. And he loves to include me in as much as I possibly can do, even though I'm a parent and have 50,000 responsibilities at any given moment half the time. Um, and obviously the Dooch, Curtis on Offworld, and the fact that Legends of Grayskull, Offworld, and Toy Frenzy are part of my life. 
That's pretty crazy. Um, a couple years ago, I was just listening to a lot of this stuff and I had no idea I'd be in the community and here it is. So that's pretty nuts. So thank you to everybody out there. I hope you guys have a great Thanksgiving and we'll see you on the other side. Hey, Frenzy Nuts, this is Adam. Just wanted to wish all of you a happy Thanksgiving. Hopefully you're able to spend the, the day with uh, some family get some some good food, maybe take a nap, play with your E-Man toys, whatever it is you uh you do to celebrate. Um so uh we're we're all just doing these quick little videos. I I wanted to use mine to just talk about uh what's my project over the holiday. So um I do actually have some some articles that I'm going to be writing um uh, a couple of couple of things in the hopper, but I've also got this kit uh it's a, a figure kit from barbarossa customs i i bought it like i want to say early 2022 um and i've just been putting it off um so it, it is a laser light skeletor kit <clears throat> so i'll just kind of go over what i've done what i'm planning to do uh, I kind of started started with painting, uh, working on the legs. Uh, I started, I what I did was, um, and there's a couple ways to do this. Th these are the legs. Um, I did like a black um, base coat just to help the, the metallic copper kind of ad adhere to the figure better. I could have also done like a spray. Um, I don't know, for whatever reason, I just, I did the, the black undercoat. I'll add the copper to to over top of that you can see um, probably one of the most intricately painted figures from the vintage line um, but these are these are the legs um, they've got this this kind of articulation rather than the rubber bands at least this version of the kit um, I've also done some initial painting there's the sort of loincloth belt piece um, the legs go into here uh, it was molded in red I've painted uh, painted it black uh, here on the on the trunks. I've got probably needed a couple more shorts. Actually, I want this to be glossy, so I'm gonna get some glossy black black paint as well. Um, and then from there, I'll be working on the chest. So if you're familiar at all, this is basically laser light Skeletor uh, designed by David Wolfram, kind of the prelude to to the more techno organic. Uh, New Adventures uh, Skeletor designs, but this, I re you know, most of these pieces are are in two pieces, so I'll need to add some some copper paint to his his chest. Um, you can see there's there's a this this section is for one of the arms, but on this one it's it's hollow because the there's a, a hollow arm that goes here, and then there's light uh, wire that goes through the arm into a. A glowing fist so that's this section oops just dropped part of it sorry about that um so here's in two sections the right arm which goes into the torso and then connecting to there you get the um translucent right hand um and then Threaded through here, there's a wire with, with an LED will go right in there. Um, so that, that uh, the right arm, or left arm, is, is just a solid piece. Actually, it's two pieces. You've got the, the, the arm and then the, the wrist and hand that just glues on there. And that will just pop onto the torso. Other parts of it, there's the head. Again, two parts. There, there's also an LED that goes into into the head. It's not, it, I always thought it was two LEDs, but it's actually just one. And what you have is with the eyes, you get this translucent red piece that goes into the eyes and it kind of fits in. You can see it goes there. Um, and then, so if you've got uh, just one LED going into the head, it will light up and then the, the light will, will travel through those those the red piece that goes into the eyes so that's how that works this needs to be painted as well with the uh yellow and green and black um of skeletor's head um and then the other major piece would be the backpack where you uh add there's a section for a, a push button for this one 
the original turned on when you ra ra raised the arm. This one's a little nicer. You just push the button to, to, to light the LEDs. Uh, but there's the backpack. And it comes to this is this is a little more complex than your typical kit. Uh, it also here's you know here's the LEDs, the wiring, the switch. I bought myself a couple of button cell batteries, um, and somewhere I also has like a battery holder. So so that it, it's a fun project, um, something I've been meaning to finish for a while. So I'm going to take some time to do that. Uh, so yeah, I just thought that might be a little interesting. Um, hope you all have a wonderful Thanksgiving and do something fun over the break. Um, and we will see you again the following Thursday for the next Toy Frenzy episode. Take care, guys. All right, so uh, welcome to the Skelevator house. Um, I'm about to show you around a little bit. Um, this is what used to be our dining room, or is temporarily not our dining room. Um, it's sometimes where I make artwork and also uh, where I have my little office back here where I co-host Toy Frenzy with my very good friends. Um, so come on in, let's have a look. Okay, so here we are. You're seeing a slightly different angle from what you normally see during the Toy Frenzy episodes. Um, got a few, this is some of my book collection here. Um, I'm a huge fan of writers from the Central Valley, so of California, which is where we live. Um, so I got a bunch of those here. I've collected a lot of them. That's another facet of my of my interest. Um, and then of course some of the some of the action figures that um, have recently come my way are here as well. Um, and then over here I've got you know the the staples. These are the in these two glass cases, as some of you might know, I, I might have slightly mentioned it before, but um, in these two glass cases, these are the ones that um, are never going away. Um, they are treasured. Um, and I usually, when I do a weekly weirdo, usually grab one from here um, or several from here and talk about them. But um, that's beside the point. Uh, really, this is a Thanksgiving episode and I just want you to know from me to you, um, I love you all for tuning in. It's amazing. Um, for those of you that are patrons of the channel, um, of my channel, of, of Oz's channel, Bobby's channel, uh, Adam's channel, and uh, maybe soon to be Sean's channel, um, we really appreciate you uh, being part of this and contributing. And we hope that we show our appreciation enough for you all. Um, it means the world to us. So when I think about Thanksgiving and I think about the kind of um, uh, community that we're all involved in, I, I can't stop. Uh, I can't not think about how fortunate we are as co-hosts of Toy Frenzy to have such a loving and dedicated community of toy collectors that stand behind us every step of the way. Um, and we all have our various levels of being able to contribute back to the community, but I do my best and I know that the boys do their best too. And um, we hope that you, that you appreciate it equally, uh, you pr appreciate us as much as we appreciate you. And I think, I think you do. Um, it's pretty darn evident. Um, every chance we get to uh, showcase your dedication to us, we, we really try and do that. Um, with that being said, you know, um, this being Thanksgiving, uh, I just want to give a final thank you to all of you. Um, the Toy Frenzy effort started off with Oz and I just wanting to talk about um, Wondar <laughs> and look at where we are. We're, we've come a long way. I love that we have uh, that we have additional um, awesome co-hosts, and um, we love that you all tune in. Thank you so much for being part of this, and um, we'll see you in the next Toy Frenzy. Hey, hello, fans of the Frenzy. Uh, this is Bobby. I just wanted to say I appreciate every single one of you. You come up to our show every week. And it's just amazing the support you guys give us. And I love each and every one of you. It's been a fantastic ride so far. It's been over a year since I've been with this show. And uh, the 
outreach of you guys, the friendships that you've uh, given to us, it's just been outstanding. Um, the support, the love, even amongst each other, it, it's just, it's fabulous. I, I love it. Um, I wish more communities can be like this. I really wish, um, yeah, I just love that. It's just, it's just amazing. Um, you guys give me a lot of support. I'm continuing to do my Decker Northcut case files, um, stories. I just finished part seven today and I'll be working on part eight very soon. Um, part six is coming up tomorrow. Since you guys are watching this on Thursday, this will be on tomorrow. Um, the outpour of support from you guys saying that my voice is well and um, it frightens me when I hear my own voice I don't like it so much but you guys say it sounds good so I'm going to believe you um, with Skelly uh, to Oz to uh, Adam and Sean um, I love you guys it, I couldn't have a better cast of hosts to uh, be a part of a show with um, We'll see how long we can continue this show since we get support from all the fans. Every single week you guys show up. It's amazing. It still blows my mind. But um, I just want to say I love you all. Happy Thanksgiving. Spend time with your family. Get to uh, enjoy life. Um, as I say, you know, life is short, so live dangerously. I love you guys. See you. Part two. I guess Skelly doesn't want us to have these short videos he wanted it to be like five minutes so he was cracking the whip on me yelling at me screaming and saying blah 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 um so skelly here you go here's part two i'm just kidding he wasn't saying any of that but um i just want to say that i really love to entertain you guys um like i said we've been doing this for a couple or for a year now and i hope you just take my jokes lightly uh, I don't mean anything nasty about them or whatever, but I do speak my mind and I do speak the truth, um, how I feel and whatever. Um, I'm here just to entertain. I hope you enjoy that. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to say a couple more things. Um, I enjoy you guys, especially the patrons of the channel. I shouldn't say especially. I should just say the patrons of the channel I appreciate each one of you, my patrons um, exclusively. Thank you for supporting me and what I'm doing. I'm finally got stuff I'm doing now. Uh, my show is going well. I've got more confidence built, and I love to get out these stories that have been in my head. Some of them have been in my head for a long time. Uh, mixing some stuff that I used to write into the story now. Um, it's just all these ideas, so it, it, it kind of mixes and things like that. So I just wanted to say thank you all again. Have a very uh, happy Thanksgiving. I, uh, I'll see you guys in a week, and hopefully you all keep showing up and being with us. I appreciate you all. Thank you. Good evening, all you Skelevatorites, Bobby's Dangers, Skavarniacs, Battle Rammers, and Ozholes. Happy Friendsgiving. So this year, we're trying out something a little bit different than what you remember from last year. We each recorded a little clip of our lives for you to join us in. And well, guys, this is pretty much it. I spend most of my week here at this very desk, whether it's working all day from home or popping up on all of our friends' channels across YouTube uh, or even just hanging out at the clubhouse every Saturday night. This little space isn't much, but it's really where I get to play with my toys, watch everybody's content, and there's so much of you now that I try to keep up all week long and have you guys play in the background on you know, different windows and such, and just really, really try to catch as much of it as I can. Uh, you know, I also spend a lot of time here doing research and learning different things, whether it's about different toy lines or even trying to find out different techniques for, you know, video editing, which I'm still trying to get the hang of. Uh, don't often do so well with this pre-recorded content, but, you know, hey, got to learn it sometime, right? So that way I can start doing different types of content even on my own channel. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this is really pretty much it though you know so uh 
One thing I will say, though, is this time of the year, we always like to reflect on things that we're thankful for. And I'm always very thankful for each and every one of you. Uh, thank you all from the bottom of my heart for being here with us each and every week. Over the last year, we have truly watched the, the frenzied grow into this incredible community filled with the most amazing people from around the globe. Uh, you know, without you guys, there wouldn't be any real reason for us to keep going on every week. So I'm really, really thankful to have all of you here and joining us. And I hope you all have had an awesome Friendsgiving and I'll be seeing you all real soon. Catch you in the next one. Take care, folks. <laughs>